In today's video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about C-Stands and also look at some really cool hardware for the studio. Before we get started today, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you could please hit subscribe, also turn on the bell notifications, and if everybody could give me a thumbs up, that would really be terrific. That way more people will be able to find these videos, and I would really appreciate it. Also, if you guys like learning from me in these videos, you might also like to learn from me on my website called The Academy with John Gress, where you'll have exclusive access to all sorts of videos covering everything from retouching to posing to business, lighting, and gear. And also you'll get an early sneak peek at my YouTube videos. So just go to johngress.com slash academy for more information. That's also where you're gonna find out about my in-person workshops as well. So let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So whether you're a photographer or a filmmaker, you're probably eventually going to want to use a C-stand. And a C-stand is called a C-stand or a century stand because it has a hundred uses, maybe even a hundred and one. So I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about C-stands today and also show you some other really cool hardware. So to start off, you're looking at a C-stand with a turtle base. And a turtle base is essentially just a removable base. And that's where you can unscrew this shaft and we'll go ahead and sit it on the floor and take the sandbag off. And now you can take this and you can fold it up as well. And the great thing about that is now these two items are gonna easily go into a case for transport. They have other bases which don't come off at all and I'm not really sure what that one's called. It's probably just called a C-stand. Um, and I don't really like that in general because you end up having this long pole permanently attached to this. And I don't think that's very helpful. The other thing, it just gets in the way when you're transporting it and takes up extra room in your car and you can't put it in a golf club case or, or a sling bag and that sort of thing. It just is kind of a pain. The other thing is they have them that have a uh, sliding leg where one of the legs goes up higher than the other two. And that sometimes is called a rocky mountain leg. And the reason for that is you'll be able to put your C-stand on a set of stairs where two legs stay on the lower stair and one of them goes on the higher stair. I do have a few stands that do this and I have to say I've only used this functionality once or twice in my whole career. So I don't think you're gonna end up needing that a lot of the times and that's why I would just suggest that you go with the C-stand with uh, the turtle base. I think that is gonna be fine for almost everybody. So let me go ahead and put it back together. Okay, so we got our stand back together here, and now if you were to just buy a C-stand with a turtle base, that's what you'd get. This, however, is the full kit. You'll see this is a C-stand with a turtle base, a grip arm, and a grip head. So let me go over these items one at a time. So a grip arm is simply a long uh, metal shaft with a grip head at the end. And more about grip heads in a second. This one is 40 inches long or one meter. They also have them at 50 centimeters long or 20 inches long as well. And those can be really helpful for backgrounds, uh, for holding up uh, background stands, or maybe just sometimes you don't need all the length. And that'll make more sense in a second. Now, a grip head is essentially um, just something that slides over the top of your C-stand and it locks down right here. And then uh, this particular uh, handle or inside next to the handle are all of these holes. And you can stick flags in here. You can stick uh, the grip arms in there. You can stick these little studs in there. There are all sorts of uses that you can use for the grip head and they come in really handy. So let me go over how to mount or how to stick the grip arm in the grip head. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find the hole in the grip head that's similar to the shaft size of uh, your grip arm. So that would be uh, this one right here. So now we've slid it in. And the thing you wanna keep in mind all of the time is that when you're staring at the handle, you want the weight to go to your right. That would be in this direction. So the other thing you wanna keep in mind, if we're gonna put a light out here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it through here and I'm gonna turn this and lock it down. 
The other thing you want to keep in mind is if we have a light out here, the weight is going to pull down on in this direction and that's going to tighten the handle. And that's the reason why when you're staring at this handle, you want the weight to be to your right. Now, if you did it the other way around and you had the weight out here uh, to your left and you just um, lock this down, if you pull down on this, it's gonna come loose. So you definitely don't wanna do that. You definitely wanna keep the weight off to your right um, in this situation. So we just need to pivot that back over and now it's to your right. The other key thing you wanna keep in mind when you're using a C-stand is the weight always goes over the biggest leg. So right now the weight is going that way, that's totally wrong. So I need to go ahead and loosen this up and rotate the legs so that the weight is over that big leg. And that'll be far more stable in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and put a fair amount of weight on here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and sort of give it a shot. Let's see what happens. If I put a fair amount of weight right here, thing falls right over. So now the weight is to your right and it's positioned directly over the big leg. And that's exactly where we're gonna put our sandbag. So I'm just gonna put the sandbag on top here and now everything is safe and secure. If you need to use another sandbag, you can put it on this one back here, or you can put it on top. You could also put a second sandbag on this end over here if we're gonna put a light over here. So let me just go ahead and put the light on on this side for you guys. So we've mounted our light with our beauty dish over there and everything works great. One cool thing about this particular grip arm and grip head, they are made by Kupo, which means that they have a, well, this company always has really big uh, grip handles. And then the other thing that they always offer is that they have a hex head on this end, which means that there are six flat sides and then uh, you're unable to spin, well, once you get it locked in, you're unable, you have to get it locked in first. <laughs> okay, once you're securely uh, screwed in next to one of those flat sides, this isn't going to droop on you. You're gonna then control uh, the pitch of the light by loosening the handle and turning the shaft. And that comes in really handy all of the time. If you've used a traditional boom, a lot of times you'll put your light out here and it'll just go straight down. So that's what this is great for. You could, if this was really heavy, you could also hang another uh, sandbag back here and that would keep it secure. Now, alternatively, let's say we're not using lights today. Let's say that we're using our C-sand to hold some flags. Well, we could go ahead and we could take the stud we had earlier and we could uh, go ahead and I'll spin uh, this whole contraption around. That way, <laughs> sorry, the weight has to go to your right. That should have stayed there. I'll spin. See, this is a good exercise of the weight going to the right and keeping it straight. Okay, the weight is now off to your right. It's gonna go over here. You will go ahead and lock this down. Okay, so I'm gonna stick the stud in the same slot uh, that we would stick uh, another grip arm in and I'm gonna tighten it down. You could just take a traditional flag and stick it in one of these little holes and tighten it down. That would work out fine too. But if we take this guy right here, this clip, we can go ahead and attach this clip to the grip head. And I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit. And now we can go ahead and we can just take this bounce card and stick it right there and it's perfectly positioned. This is gonna stay all day in this position. It's not going anywhere. It's gonna work out perfectly for us. Now there is another way that we could hold this up. And let me go ahead and show that to you guys right now. So, and we won't need this anymore, so I'll sit it down. Or this. Okay. 
question. So this right here is called a magic arm. This part above my hand or between my hands. It's an articulated arm and uh, it essentially lets you put whatever you want on this end out into space and, and lock it down in that position. And then at this end, there is a super clamp and that just allows you to take it and put it on a stand and you can just sort of tighten it down, tighten down these jaws. And now it's totally locked on there. And then you can take uh, this end, we'll put our clip on it. And then we'll lock that down as well. Okay, great. So now we've got this locked on here. Let's just go ahead and grab our card and we can stick it over here uh, right there and just lock it down in that position. And now, as you can see, while using this articulated arm, we can put anything we want, be it a flag, a kookaloris, a bounce card, anywhere we want out into space and lock it down exactly into that position. So the next thing we might want to use is called this offset arm. And an offset arm simply, simply lets you offset your light from the stand. So let me go ahead and show you how to use that. So the most critical thing that I have to do right now is to loosen this up and then slide, uh, slide it up a little higher here, maybe come up a little bit more. Now I'm just gonna reattach this super clamp back to the C-stand. There, I've got it tightened down. Okay, now I'm gonna take this offset arm and I'm gonna stick it on top of our stand here, right about there, that should be great. I'm gonna come down just a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, now, if I take my beauty dish and I stick it up onto the offset arm and lock it down, you can see this is a butterfly lighting setup and this is great for beauty. If you're the model and I'm the photographer, I now have this oriented so that my beauty dish is coming from the top. I'm gonna to put the camera right here and uh, this light is coming down, creating some really nice shadows. And then this fill card is just bouncing that light back up and filling in those shadows. So this is a great way to set up butterfly lighting. So we simply have a C-stand with a sandbag. The sandbag's down there keeping us safe and everything in line. You should always use a sandbag whenever you can. You definitely don't wanna hurt anybody or hurt your equipment. It would be really a bad outcome. Um, then we've got the super clamp attached to the light stand with the magic arm, our articulated arm coming off of it. And that's attached to a clip, which is holding our $3 card from the office supply store. You can get these white cards, poster board, anywhere. Um, you could have a real flag here too, that's totally fine. You would probably use a real flag and attach it to the articulated arm with another grip head. Then up here, we've got our offset arm and that's making it so that our light is about 12 inches or 30 centimeters away from the light stand. And then that has an ability or a place where you can mount the light above or below. It's really a choice, it's just up to you, however you need to do it to get the right angle. And then you just come over here as the photographer and shoot right through it. You probably wanna move this over just a little bit here so that things are, are on center. And I think that would work out great. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below. And as always, stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.